But someone who dug this out, yeah? Yeah. In the 70s and you know, he got buried. Shit, wait, wait! Yeah. A bricked up tunnel entrance oh. for a mine. What is this all about? Yeah, and there was big iron gates there. Uh, look at the, there's big iron gates before we build it. Right, so this mine basically had a proper entrance, entrance with iron gates. Yeah, this is the main hole of stone, look at the size of this man. Wow. Wow, this is impressive. I didn't expect this. Oh, wow. This is uh, rather incredible. There's gonna have to be a picture of this, definitely. Yeah, so we'll have to have a garden. Wow, so that, there was some serious, you know, amount of ore extracted down this mine. Now you look at the size of this level, you can judge by yourself uh, like all the, the amount of activity and a lot of formation they had back in the days. Wow, absolutely yeah. stunning. This is uh, for, ut for utility, yeah? yeah? Utility hooks. Up, uh, Got the light one, for additional light. Wow, there's quite a lot going on here. There's a collapse. Seems like a very crumbly, muddy seam of rock that's come down. Wow. Look at this. Oh. Wow, it's pretty awesome that. So this would have been the the lower level yeah. of all them manganese mines that we have been to. Yeah, you know that shaft we saw first? Yeah. This connects to that, yeah? And there's also... So that shaft where we threw the stone, stone down yeah. connects to this. Yeah. And there's also some separate stone thing as well. And it's, it's quite a way up, that shaft. This has got to be a good yeah, so 300 good. foot from where we are. It really is amazing. I didn't expect this. And it keeps going a long way. There's a spam here. This what? Some 
some wedges there. That'll be for utility cables or whatever. Hmm. What do you think these wedges were for? Oh, for, uh, for utility uh, cables. Yeah, must be. Yeah. Oh my god. What is that? That's like a lot of uh, fluoride. You know, hang on, watch. Yeah, it's alright. It's like a lot of toothpaste that's come down, really. Yeah. You can see. What's that wedged in there? Yeah, look, look how far it goes in. I think that's a, a drill hole. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at this one here. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. This gives you an idea. A good uh, five foot. You can see the fallout there. Where the, where the rock basically shattered with the explosion. It's all jagged. Yeah. So looking at this, the direction they were driving, this tunnel was going in that way. Yeah. Wow. So cool. Right, it's only all the shaft, you have all the stones, right? Yeah. This is it now, you can have a look up at it. So this is where it comes out basically. So yeah. oh, this is a cool to get to here. It's not yeah, that we can stand up to it. But someone who dug this out, yeah? Yeah. In the 70s, and he nearly got buried. He nearly got buried, yeah, they had to this, dig it out. All this come down all on him like that. Right. Can you free climb it for a bit? Yeah. Let this loose to a point. All right, okay. I'm just gonna get out the way so you can have a look up yourself. Oh. Is there much to look at? Well, we have some timbers up here. Right? Okay, I'm coming. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuck now, Tony. Shit. It's, it's very precarious, don't bother. Well, yeah, I know, that's why I stood here. But tell me if you're coming down, I'll move out. I'm, I'm coming. I'm, I'm just standing and it's giving way. Yeah, and it's all loose up here. It's very loose, this stuff. I mean, all that is basically very loose. The stuff that could come down anytime. Yeah. Shit, we'd be buried, would we? I didn't notice it last time. Right, I'm out of here. I'm yeah. coming out. Right, your shoot is in the middle. So this, you're telling me, that, you're telling me that this was actually, they, they dug this out basically yeah. in the 70s. Yeah, yeah. Blimey, I don't like this. No, and the guy who dug it out, he nearly got buried. He nearly got buried, the yeah. guy that dug it out. I'm not, I'm not surprised, this is. Yeah, I'm gonna go up that ladder then see what's there, please. Yeah. If I do get buried, you'll have to go down the shaft and save me. You're, you're joking, are you? Yeah, so we will have to. I'm just gonna that ladder, You're not? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. 
shit, wait, wait. Wait till I'm out of the way. I don't like this. Yeah. Fucking hell, I start you there. Oh. Honestly. Look at that. Yeah, there's no matter of light coming down. It's dodgy, but how the hell do they come up sailing down this way? It's impossible. No, they get to that ladder, top of the ladder, maybe, yeah? Okay. I won't go across them. Right. Look, it's still, it's still stuff coming down. All right. But the thing is, you put your foot in the wrong place, the whole thing no. is going to go... It's not worth it. And they're going to get buried, isn't they? Right. Shall we go that way? Yeah. A bit of a crawl, but I'm on my way. If this does come down, not one of us is trapped in, yeah? Oh, God. So we'll have to go out and get someone to have sail down the shaft to come and get us. Yeah. Let's not yeah. get yeah, so if it does, let's not get this uh, get, filled in. Oh yeah, it's very loose. Yeah. Oh my god. I didn't notice this ladder way last time. Keep lighting it up. I didn't notice this ladder way last time. Oh my god. Can you see it so? Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice it last time. Because I was only looking up there, see that side? Yeah, yeah. A, I thought that this, was the way. Well, they both span ways, are they? Yeah. And in the oh, middle. This is loose. In the middle rock. was the orchard, yeah. Yeah, this is loose rock. That is scary, so. So there must have been timbers coming down the side. So this was the ore shoot yeah. in the middle, there was there, and, and the manway on each side. Yeah, to keep, and then now the timbers have gone, all this is just loose. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want all this falling down though. Yeah. Fantastic. Right. Wow. Yeah, I didn't notice this last hour. join the main level after this collapse what are you trying to find? candles there's some candles here look at this some rusty nails We're on the hunt for some candles, minus candles. Yeah. It's not often you see them preserved on the ground. I know we're going to buy the collapse, I don't know if we're on this side or the other side of that collapse. So. Quite low to the ground. It's a quite big candle as well. So you shouldn't miss them. Oh, 
Yeah, all over there. Oh yeah. Where is it? Those. See them? Like tubes. It's like the, the little, the start of like little stalactites. It's so various the colour here. I hope the video does justice to the colours. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, well, that's like a mud sediment, look how red it is. Yeah. Have you been here before, Barry? Yeah. Wow, do you, you have the, some copper staining when it's green is uh, copper sulfate, malachite. Yeah, there's copper there and there's galena here. So we have copper and galena that we here as well. Do you think they were mining some of them? Some sort of stalagmites. You could call them. Yeah. They call them actually in, ca in cave in terms. They call them fried eggs when they're flat like that. Oh yeah, no, they got the candle. They got the candle on that. So the clay for the candle. So when the miners, the galena, yeah. Look. Where's the galena? You mean the? Oh, you mean the uh, malachite? The green colours. Yeah, galena has green in the lead. Copper sulfite is a malachite, yeah. And actually, we're going to see a little lump of mud that the miners use basically to hold the candles on the wall. There you are. That little lump of mud yeah, used to the hold a candle. The floor, and here, there would have been candles here. Look at the sod marks there. Uh, On this little ledge, there would have been candles as well. Wow. Some really pretty colors there. So we actually come to crossroads here. Pretty amazing. Wow. Can you get an old bottle here? An old bottle? Well, uh, that's a smashed old bottle. You can tell it's old, but it's been blown in the bottle. Look. See how it's been blown? See how that's been blown in the bottom? All right, that's the that's the bottom that's the bottom yeah, of it. Yeah, so it's an old, old How bottle. deep it is, yeah. yeah. I think that's part of like a car, old car, but I don't know where are. That could be part of a lamp, yeah. Oops. So, what's down there? I think it's small stove. I'm not at that end. Oh, these sub marks, look at that. Black as the night. So 
So that goes into a stove. Does it go up? Yeah, it goes up a tiny bit. Sorry, ooh. Tiny bit, I Oh, sorry, it goes up and doesn't go anymore. Interesting. And down there? No, dead end. Dead end as well. No, I'm quite close, just in case it's a mat. Yeah. Have a look. Oh. I think that is that bit of wooden thing. Oh, it's probably a handle for a shovel or something. I thought it was a tamper for the drill holes or something. What would, what would a tamper be? Uh, it's uh, for the drill holes to press down. To pack in the explosive, the gunpowder in. Yeah. Well, there's some uh, some very fine Gibson crystals there. They like very very small needles. I have to say this uh, this level is absolutely impressive in terms of size and full development of it. Mm. Oh, here is the the wooden traverse that goes across with the seats, these metal bits, seats that would have the rails in place, sat on them. You can just imagine mine carts running up and down this level. A lot of noise and activity back in the back in the day when this man was working. It's very obvious uh, very late, at least late 1800s, possibly early 1900s. Yeah! What is it? I've got my finger in the dike. Finger in where? Finger in the dike. Oh my god. It's warm as well, the water, you know? Yeah. You put your finger over there and it gets hot after a while. Like warm. Huh? Proper mineral water here. Proper mineral water. Well, the stove is not getting out, it's a rope. Hey? The stove is not getting out, it's meant to be a little more level above, I think. A level above us. And again, this is... Yeah, it's ready to fall. Oh, just shiny with your, with your good touch. Can you see the timber platforms? You can see the pit, yeah, timber, timber platforms. So this would have been a big ore shoot as well. Like the one next door, yeah? Yeah. Over time it's, it's packed with a lot of loose rock. God, this looks dodgy. I wouldn't. It's all loose, I got. Well, it's up to you. If you can try it, go on then. If you go, I'm going after you. But if you get there, it'll be easier. I don't think you have. You, you need gonna, a hand ascender, don't you? Yeah. You need. Right. You need an ascender. Yeah. You're not gonna do it freehandedly. Yeah, there, there. You're not gonna do it freehandedly in a way. Long stretch. Oof. So so loose. Hold this, ready to go down. It's right there. It, it's all right. It's only then climbing through that chute, I think. 
you, you need you need the foot in. That's why you need done your hair. You need to get your right foot up into that corner. I don't think I could do it. Yeah, you get bigger rocks, you watch. Yeah, you get bigger ones coming down and if it hits, this and all this look. If it hits you the knee the wrong way, you've had it. Yeah, you need a hand uh, hand jar hand really. Jar. Yeah, well we're going to give up on this. And all those rocks are going to start coming down on top of you. You watch. Hit you in your face and stuff. Uh. Yeah, it's not worth it. Wow, it's rather colourful this. What is this? So clear. It's kind of a calcite, is it? Quartz. Is it quartz or calcite? Yeah. Is it quartz? Hmm. Yeah. 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 Oh, what's this? He used to write books and he was a member of the Welsh Mind Society, yeah? What's that? Right, David Bick there, yeah? yeah? Milda's got a few of his books, you know? David, he, he, David, David Bick. Bick. And he does mind books, yeah? Like in the 1970s and pre, you know, earlier than the 70s, you know, 50s to 70s, yeah? And then this guy there, Harold Morris, he used to go out with this, David Bick, and make, you know, take photos for him, for his books and stuff. And he's the guy who phoned me. He's the guy that got in touch with you. Yeah, he got my number off my uncle and phoned me and, and oh he my said, God. that's my graffiti, that was in so your video. So H, what does H stand for? Harold Morris. Harold Morris, 1955. Yeah, and he got in touch with me and I've been to his house and everything. He must have been quite moved to see actual video yes. of his own yeah. sort of 70 signature years there. Later, 70 years later, yeah. maybe 70 years later. Because he's 80 something or 88. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was quite moved. I, I, was, I was on the phone with him for like an hour, first time he called, like, yeah. Blimey. So. So this is one of his old camera flash bulbs. That is amazing. Well, I just can't believe it. You're not getting a phone call of someone in 1955 graffiti, you see. Looks like it flows like a river. Yeah. 